February 17th. The reading is entitled, The House Cleansed. Not a shadow can rise, not a cloud in the skies, but his smile quickly drives it away. Not a doubt nor a fear, not a sigh nor a tear, can abide while we trust and obey. Trust and obey, for there's no but to trust and obey. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Psalm 51 verse 10 Create in me a clean heart. This is beginning right at the very foundation of Christian character. For out of the heart are the issues of life. If all ministers and people would see to it that their hearts are right with God, we should see much larger results from the labor put forth. The more important and responsible your work, the greater the necessity that you have clean hearts. The needed grace is provided and the power of the Holy Spirit will work with every effort you make in this direction. If every child of God would seek Him earnestly and perseveringly, there would be a greater growth in grace. Dissensions would cease, believers would be of one heart and one mind, and purity and love would prevail in the church. By beholding, we become changed. The more you contemplate the character of Christ, the more you will become conformed to his image. Come to Jesus just as you are, and he will receive you and put a new song in your mouth, even praise to God. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Psalm 51 11. Repentance as well as forgiveness, is the gift of God through Christ. It is through the influence of the Holy Spirit that we are convinced of sin and feel our need of pardon. None but the contrite are forgiven, but it is the grace of the Lord that makes the heart penitent. He is acquainted with all our weaknesses and infirmities and he will help us. He will hear the prayer of faith, but the sincerity of prayer can be proved only by our efforts to bring ourselves into harmony with the great moral standard which will test every man's character. We need to open our hearts to the influence of the Spirit and to experience its transforming power. The reason that you do not receive more of the saving help of God is because the channel of communication between heaven and your own souls is clogged by worldliness, love of display, and desire for supremacy. While some are conforming more and more to the world's customs and maxims, we should be molding our lives after the divine model and our covenant-keeping God will restore unto us the joys of his salvation and uphold us by his free spirit. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you.